Harry the little snail and Dolly the ladybird play with their forest friends in their happy little world. Dolly the ladybird and Berry the little snail always fun games to play, always a brand new tale. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? The Sandcastle. On a sunny summer day, Berry, Dolly, Bubble and Balthazar put on their swimming costumes, grabbed their buckets and spades and set out for Sand Island to build castles. Look at this huge watermelon, Balthazar said in surprise. Oh, let's take it with us. Then we can all have a feast at the end of the day. OK, Berry, we'll take it. Berry, Dolly, Balthazar and Bubble carefully rolled the watermelon in front of them. But when the friends got to the top of the hill, the round watermelon started to roll away down the slope. Stop it! Dolly shouted to the others. Bubble pounced on the watermelon, but he couldn't stop it. The baby beetle slipped off and bumped his head. The juicy watermelon just carried on rolling. They all ran after it as fast as they could, but the watermelon was much faster than all of them. Then a terrible thing happened. The watermelon got to the bottom of the hill and smashed into a sharp rock. Our lovely watermelon smashed into pieces. Oh, the watermelon! Balthazar was very sad too. Why are you all complaining? Let's eat it instead, the baby beetle suggested. So the four friends sat down and started to munch on the watermelon. They ate the sweet red fruit until their tummies were full. We'd better hurry to Sand Island or there'll be no time left to build sand castles. Dolly, wait for me, I'll fly with you. Balthazar said. Me too, Bubble added. But I can't fly. Are you three going to leave me here? Berry asked with a sad sob. Let's build boats out of the watermelon rind. This way Berry can sail to the island with us, Balthazar suggested. They selected four strong pieces of melon rind. One for Dolly, one for Berry, one for Balthazar and one for Bubble. They made the masts out of strong branches and the sails out of large leaves. When they were done, they launched the little boats on the water and the wind quickly carried them away to Sand Island. Hooray! We're sailing! Berry said with an excited squeak. They all got to Sand Island with plenty of time left to play. Look, someone's coming and he's got a bucket in his hand. Indeed, there was a cheerful beetle walking towards them on the sandy shore. Who are you? Dolly asked. I'm Sean, the sand beetle. I live here and was about to build a sand castle. Really? Balthazar asked. Can we join you? Of course you can. Let's all build together, Sean said with joy. The five of them built a grand sandcastle with all kinds of tunnels, towers and bridges. Now all it needs is a flag on top, Dolly said. So she drew a picture of Sean on a leaf and stuck it in the very top of the castle. That looks super! Does that mean it's my sandcastle now? Sean said enthusiastically. When the sun went in, Dolly and her friends said goodbye to Sean and headed home. Good night, King of the Castle! Dolly shouted waving goodbye to their new friend. Barry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? C.
sea adventure. One summer day, Berry the snail and Dolly the ladybird found a colourful storybook. It was packed with pretty pictures of the sea swimming with fish and crabs. And there was another strange animal that Berry had never seen. It's called an octopus, but I've never seen a real one either. Why don't we go to the sea? Berry asked excitedly. But we don't know where the sea is, Berry. I know, let's ask Dr Owl. He knows everything. Do you know how to get to the sea, Dr Owl? You'll need to build a boat and sail down the stream. The stream will take you to the river, and the river flows right into the sea. Berry and Dolly thanked Dr Owl for his advice and got to work right away. The three owl chicks happily helped them build their boat. The two friends jumped in. And the stream carried them all the way to the sea. Hooray! We're going to see the sea. The wind blew their boat down the stream and then the river. It wasn't long before the vast blue sea was right in front of them. We're here, yelled Berry. He pulled the boat to the shore and tied it to a palm tree. Come on, Dolly, let's dive to the bottom of the sea. The two friends saw all kinds of incredible creatures under the sea. They spotted a big crab and followed it to the surface. Excuse me, can you tell us where we can find a real octopus? Asked Dolly. Hold on to my pincers and I'll show you the little island where the octopus likes to sunbathe. The crab helped them to the island and swam away. The octopus was much bigger than they'd imagined and it frightened them. Berry and Dolly hid behind a big rock. Then the octopus had a good idea. It picked up some pebbles and started to juggle them with its eight tentacles. The little ladybird and the snail crept out from behind the rock. Come over here, the octopus said. I'll show you the prettiest pebbles on my island. Berry and Dolly quickly made friends with the octopus and they all had so much fun. It's time for us to go, said Dolly. Goodbye. It was very nice to meet you. Bye-bye, replied the octopus and gave them both a shiny pebble each. Berry and Dolly got into the boat and tried to paddle away. But it was too hard. Oh, dear Berry, we won't be able to manage. We'll have to get out of the boat. Dolly was really scared. See, Berry, I told you we shouldn't have sailed so far from home. I think you're right, Dolly. But then the stone started to move. Why are you so sad, little snail? The stone asked. This made Berry laugh. It wasn't a stone after all. It was a turtle. My friends, the rainbow fish, are about to begin their long journey. They'll swim up the stream all the way to the source. I'm sure they'd be happy to take you with them. Berry and Dolly said goodbye to the turtle and sat on the back of the captain fish. Then they all set off on their way home. By the time it was getting dark, the fish had reached the clearing where the ladybird's spotty house stood. Berry and Dolly thanked the fish for their help and they swam away. See, Dolly, all's well that ends well, the little snail said wisely. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? The water snail. Berry, Dolly, Flutter and Balthazar were sitting around in the meadow. I wish I had a cousin too, a distant snail relative, 
Berry sighed. But you've got a sort of cousin, Berry. The water snail is a kind of snail, Flutter the butterfly said. Really? Berry jumped to his feet with a grin. Where does this water snail live? Nowhere. I don't think there's such a thing as a water snail. Oh, yes, there is. I know where he lives. He's got a little house deep down in the round pond on the other side of the forest. You're talking nonsense, the bee said. Why don't we go down to the round pond to see for ourselves? Come with me. I'll take you, Hedgehog Harry told his friends. We can be there before it gets dark. Hooray, Berry whooped. I'll bring the air tank so we can swim down to the bottom of the pond. Berry, Dolly, Flutter and Balthazar hopped into the hedgehog cart and set out for the round pond. It was late in the evening by the time they finally caught sight of the pond. The cart's running away, the little bee shouted, but it was already too late. The hedgehog cart rolled right into the water. It's too late to do anything today. Let's go to bed, and tomorrow you can all swim down to the bottom of the pond. I'm sure you'll find the cart, Harry comforted them. Berry woke up bright and early the next morning. Look, the water lily has opened its petals and there's someone standing on its leaf and he's waving at us. Who are you? Hello, everybody. My name's Sam Snail and I live deep down at the bottom of the round pond. See, Balthazar, water snails do exist after all. I've got my own proper cousin now. Sam Snail didn't understand why Berry was so happy to see him. But then Dolly told him why they had come. I'm so happy to meet you, Cousin Berry, the water snail said. Would you help us find our cart that rolled into the water, Sam? Flutter asked. I'd be delighted. Follow me, the water snail said. So the four friends slipped into their swimming costumes and swam all the way down to the bottom of the pond. This is where I live, Sam Snail announced with pride. <laughs> they heard a frightening hissing sound that scared Berry, Dolly, Flutter and Balthazar who hid behind the house. Don't be scared, it's my friend the water snake. Water snake, have you seen a cart at the bottom of the pond by any chance? Hang on to me and I'll take you there. There it is. The water snake hissed. Berry, Dolly, Balthazar and Flutter were happy they'd found it. You did it, said Harry. He was so happy to see his little friends again. Let's go for a trip on the pond, Sam Snail suggested. They all sat on the lily pad and Sam Snail started rowing. It's time we were going, Dolly said when it began to get dark. Oh, let's stay a little longer, Berry pleaded. We'll come again another day. Flutter reassured the little snail. Harry Hedgehog was already waiting for them. Berry, Dolly, Flutter and Balthazar all said goodbye to Sam Snail and headed for home. The next day, Berry and Dolly both painted colourful pictures of their distant cousins. <laughs>